Hello, today we're going to look at some second grade addition and subtraction strategies with my dog Scoop. So today we're going to use benchmark or friendly numbers with tape diagrams to add two digit numbers. And the idea is to take a harder math problem and make it easier. So let's see what Scoop thinks. Scoop likes to work with tens. Um, they function a lot like the ones do, but they're the next place value. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from each number. Sometimes some are going to give some up from their ones, some are going to get some back from their ones, and really our goal is to make this an easier math problem, and the tape diagram is just a way of showing it. It's not the actual math. So let's check out 61 plus 29. Okay, so here's our basic idea, is that 61 is really close to a friendly or a benchmark number. It's really close to the number 60. It's made up of 60 and 1. 29 is also really close to a benchmark number. It's really close to 30. But 29 is made up of 9 and 20. So the idea is, is that we can take 1 away from my 61 and give it to my 29 to make that a 30. So let's check out what this looks like in our tape diagram. And the idea is that we're going to have our 60, and our 60 is going to be a big part of it. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that 1, and we're going to give it to the 29. So what that does is we've created an easier math problem for ourselves. We still have 60 over here, but now we have 30 over here. And I like the idea of doing 60 plus 30 a lot better than 61 plus 29 because then my tens place just functions like my one place. Because 6 plus 3 is 9, then 6 tens plus 3 tens equals 9 tens or 90. The same idea can be applied to harder problems. It doesn't always work as good, but it's the same idea. That 28 is really close to 30. And so I've got to think 28. It's made up of 20 and 8. And it's really close to 30. So I know that 8 right here is going to take 2 more to make a 10. So I'm going to grab that 2 from 43. And I know that 2 less than 43 is 42, 41. So again, the idea is that I can make a 10 and really take this harder math problem and make it easier. So let's see what that looks like in a tape diagram. Okay, I'm going to make 28 be a reasonably big piece, but again, the idea is that I want to make a 10, so I'm going to give 2 from my 43, and now I've got to know what's left. Since I've given 2 away from my 43, I have only 41 left. And again, my idea becomes that 28 plus 2 is 30. And I think 30 plus 41 is a lot easier of a math problem to do. 30 plus 41 means I can add my 1's places. 1 plus 0 is 1. And I can add my 10's places. 3 10's plus 4 10's is 7 10's. We can do the same idea with subtraction, but in, in this case, we're going to um, adjust the second number to make a 10. It's not as great with the tape diagram here, but we could still use this same strategy, that I want to adjust the second number to make it a 10. It's our idea that we're going to compensate. So instead of doing one tape diagram, I'm going to end up doing two. So specifically here, 29 is really close to 30. So I know that 29 is really close to 30 if I add 1. So I'm going to add one little block to this to make it bigger. So now this bar is worth 30. I need to do the same thing with 61. I want to keep the same difference. So I know I need 61. And that's actually a bad drawing of 61, right? I know 61 has got to be bigger than 29. And I know I need to add one more on the end of it. Because if I've added one to uh, my first number, I need to add one to my second number to keep the difference the same. 
So now I have 62 here, and now this becomes a much easier math problem. I think 62 minus 30 is an easier math problem. I'm going to do my ones place first. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 tens minus 3 tens is 3 tens. So by making it an easier math problem, adjusting one number, I was able to find the difference quicker. Same idea applies when now I'm dealing with 28. Again, 28 is pretty close to 30. So I'm going to draw my picture over here this time and say that I know I have 28 and I know I'm going to need two more to make 30, which is a number I'm comfortable working with. But since I've added two to my 28, and I'm going to draw my 43 bar a little bigger because 43 is bigger than 28, I need to add the same thing again, keeping this difference constant. And so now I've created an easier math problem by moving each number by two. I'm really just adjusting their positioning on the number line. 45 minus 30, again, allows me to subtract my ones place. 5 minus 0 is 5, and it allows me to subtract my tens place. 4 tens minus 3 tens is 1 ten. These have been two different second grade addition and subtraction strategies. Thank you.